Hey guys! Today I'll show you a super fast way how to cut and trim your clips in Premiere Pro. We all know that time is money and editing videos takes a lot of time. One of the most important things for us is to make our editing workflow as efficient as possible. So what I've done here is I simply created a sequence and I'm using only my shortcuts to cut and trim these clips. Super fast, right? So how did I do this? Well, it's very easy. Go into Edit and select Keyboard Shortcuts. These are your default shortcuts. If your layout looks different, simply select here Adobe Premiere Pro Default. Now, two of the shortcuts I used are already set in the default layout. But what I did was I changed two buttons that sit in a prime location to something more useful. I used the Q button, which has a ripple trim previous edit shortcut, as you can see here. What this does is, it selects the clip on the left side of your playhead and it deletes it. Then I used the W button, which has a ripple trim next edit shortcut. What this does is, it selects the clip on your right side of the playhead and deletes that. Now, the two buttons I recommend changing are the Z button. Because let's be honest, who uses the zoom tool? We have much better ways to do that. So to change this button, let's select it and simply delete the zoom tool. Now let's search for add edit. Simply drag it onto the Z button and you're ready to go. What the add edit shortcut does is it simply makes a cut where your playhead is. And the other button I recommend changing is the X button because I never use the mark clip. Now if you use that tool then simply bind a different button for this shortcut but I find its location very handy and therefore I want to have the ripple delete shortcut here. So all we have to do is repeat the process, delete the mark clip and right here ripple delete. Now select it and drag it onto the X button. And that's it, simple as that. To increase your efficiency, use your shortcuts. Click OK. And let's get back into the sequence and try this again. I'll simply reset all the changes I did here. And now let's test this again. Hit the Q button to delete what's on your left side of the playhead. Hit the W button to delete what's on your right side of the playhead. Hit the Z button to make a few cuts. And now select the clip and hit the X button to ripple delete. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.